I have to reimagine what his pumps. child's Still voice mash. would sound Still like. <laughs> well, I guess it's you can't right. really call it a house. It's uh, more a manor, a state. The Gothic architecture looms above the other homes in, a, uh, in the cool de sac. I walk past a couple of gargoyles guarding the front door and look around the door for a doorbell. There I would ha totally have gargoyles in front of my place. That's so badass. Yeah, oh, I just realized I, something. Are, are you more Goliath or more Bronx guy? Uh, Goliath. Yeah, okay. I, I should make his kid sound like Salad Fingers. Actually, bad choice. Uh, yeah, Lexington or uh, Lexington or Bronx? Uh, I guess Bronx. Ah. Oh wait, wait. Bronx, Bronx was a wait. Bronx was a red one, wasn't it? Yes. Lexington was a small green one, and Brooklyn was uh, the the singer. No, Broadway. Broadway was the singer. The the fat yeah. one. The fat one. Okay. Uh, I was always a Lexington fan. I, I don't know. The the little creepy nerdy guy, I don't know why I related to him so well. Oh, no idea. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, I walked past a couple of gargoyles on the front door and looking for a doorbell. There doesn't seem to be one. Is I pull like a, a large bell? ornated carved bed's head door knocker back and uh, a hollow sound echoes through the house as I strike it against the door. I... Nice. <laughs> I still so don't want to date this guy for reals. I wait. I don't, seven. Think, I, I don't think any of us would want to date this guy for reals, except maybe Keyframe. Yeah, Keyframe is weird like that. <laughs> yeah, she only dates weirdos. Yeah, and, and, and especially her sing for older guys, and given that Damien makes, some, like, makes one uh, for, um, uh, for Vampire in 1600s, she can imagine that he's like 300 no, years old. I was going to say, if, if you date an older guy, some dude from the 1800s is probably a good choice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty old. Now we pretty much know why Key is so all over him. <clears throat> anyway, so, so I wait. You just have to wear. You have to cosplay Damien at your next uh, at your next con now. You need the hair. Me? Oh, the hair would. I mean, I have a I, I, I have a coat. You need a long black wig. You Do need like I a really have... fancy British clothing. I mean, I I mean, I have a couple of clothes who are made in old style. Uh, but I'm not sure if I can pull off an entire cosplay with, eh, especially not a fancy one. It's more like uh, uh, middle class clothes, like like knights, whatever. I wait several Moving moments on. before the door uh, before the door slowly creaks open. It's a little boogly boogly. It's a little creepy, but I enter the home and take a few steps into the foyer. Noting uh, uh, the oil uh, portraits of who I assume are dead relatives hanging on the wall. Ooh. Oh god. And a Whoa. dog. And a dog. As I am admiring them, a f the front door slams shut behind me. <laughs> Hello? This is pretty homely, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Silence. An oil lamp uh, in a counter flickers dimly, casting om ominous shadows against the wall. Why do I feel like all the people in the paintings are staring straight at me? Why is it so cold in here? Where's Damien? Ian, a pleasure to have you in my home. I look around and see Damien standing on top of a majestic staircase with a walking candle holder. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what's uh, with the door slamming shut? Oh, sorry, there was a draft. And the door creaking open when I knocked? I accidentally left the door unlocked. And the creepy oil paintings. I like oil paintings. <laughs> right. Right. We're off to a good start. Not awkward at all. Please, let me show you around. Oh, now he has an extra generally friendly smile. That's so weird on him. <laughs> okay. And my kitty face again. Damien leads me around his house, showcasing his apparel, sitting room, uh, auxiliary sitting room, <laughs> and a pallor, <laughs> pallor again for some reason. <laughs> uh, oh, the pallor, okay. The he has one. Yeah. a lot of pallors. Uh. This is one of the older homes on the block. Yes, but nowhere near as old as the architecture might suggest. Through extensive renovations, I've been able to craft a residence that is both historically accurate to the Victorian period and equipped with all the am amenities of any modern-day home dwelling. We walk past the door covered in bumper stickers, caution tapes, and a black parade poster. Did they listen to my chemical romance in the Victorian area? Oh, and with a smug face again! Ah. Uh... 
That's my son's room. You know how the rebellious teenage years are. Onward, onward, there is more to see. Ninja knows the rebellious teenage years. Yeah. What? I have no idea what you're referring to. It's only like I flew to America without my parents, what? <laughs> uh, and you streaming gay games with uh, older German dudes. And older American lady. I suppose so. Uh, but, Kichi, what I always wanted to tell, to, uh, tell you... I honestly don't mind that you are black. This is true. I, Kichi, oh Kichi I, I, I'll say this from the heart now. I do not mind that you are black. Oh my god, you freaking asshole. I had forgotten to press that girl. A&Y, did you hear the name we called her? Because we have a nickname for her now. She is Squealy Wheelie. Oh, this is... Okay. Should we tell the chat about this real I quick? I feel like we should, or else the chat's gonna label us both racist. <laughs> okay, 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 chat. So, story time. This was at BronyCon last week. Woo! Um, it was, I think, Saturday. I was at the, um, in the vendor's hall, walking around. I had just shown Silver Quill where Dusty Cat's table was, and there was this girl with, uh, like, sunset shimmer hair. And she was like, oh, where's Lightning Bliss's table? I don't know where it is. And I was like, oh, I know where it is. I'll show you there. So I walked her over there, and she was like, are you Kichi? I was like, yes. She's like, oh, that's cool. Can you sign my book? So I started signing her books, and mid-signature, she was like, oh, it's, uh, I'm so happy to meet you. It's okay if you're black, by the way. <laughs> and I paused, and I was like, cool, I finished <laughs> writing my name, hand for the book, and kind of pawn her off on Lightning Bliss. I was like, good luck with that, and I kind of finger bang away from this girl. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I, as the optimist inside of me is, is hoping she was referring to like the pen color or something like that. No, no, no. <laughs> she, that was not it. She, she just said just straight up, it's okay. I don't mind that you're black. And like, it's a, very... like she's supposed to mind that I'm black, but she yeah, but, doesn't. Yeah, and it's a very nice thing to say. Yeah, like, it's a, I, it was a compliment. Yeah. I wish more people would come to me and be like, I don't mind that you are a white, gay, straight person. I, I mean, <laughs> nowadays, this is actually something you need to hear as a white, straight, male person. Yeah, you know what? I just like to imagine that maybe she saw something on TV about, I don't know, Charlottesville or something. And she's like, you know what? The next time I see a black person, I'm going to tell them that I don't mind. I'm going to show those Nazis. I'm going to show those Nazis I'm an accepting person. I don't mind that you're black. Oh dear. Okay, we we, should, great? we we should stop trash talking our fans and move I on. I suppose so. Squealy Wheelie, if by chance you are watching the stream. <laughs> yeah, if, if you're if you're watching the stream, don't tell black people you don't mind that they're black. A little might, word of advice for the Yeah, it, it it might sound nice, but it actually In your head. has yeah, but it has many implications said out loud. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Why did you think there was need to point out that you don't mind? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right, back on topic. Yes, back, yes. Back on track. We reach a door at the end of the hall that Damien opens with a flourish. Ha! <sighs> oh my and god, he's this collecting butterflies. Is my library. Oh god. <laughs> you do the L thing again. You pronounce ours like else again when you're doing accents. Library. Library. Oh, I guess I do. <laughs> Library. Sunlight streams in from floor to ceiling arched windows. The walls are lined with packed bookshelves and even more books are scattered over the period, period appropriate furniture. Damien is clearly really proud of this room. Twilight would have a cow. <laughs> Look out the window. <laughs> Look at the butterflies. I mean, come on, come on. The, the, the game was just like... Dude, he's really proud of the room. Wing, wing, proud of the room. You get it? No, no, don't look out the window. Okay, how do we nail this? How, how Let's are we going to pick impress? up a book? Okay, okay, the window definitely not. I mean, the butterflies are probably also thing. He talked earlier about how he took the, uh, loves to talk uh, yeah. his, uh, his, his Yeah, specimen. probably butterflies and the book are safe choices. Yeah, but looking out the window was probably... I mean, he also, in the original mail, talked about strawling through the garden, but I, I have maybe, a maybe feeling... Maybe we're all I, fine, I don't know. Uh, you, you know what? You're, you're free range on this one, Anne. I, I go with the butterflies. The but I say the butterflies are safe, uh, safe bet. I go with this first. Kay. Yes! Nailed it. I look up the, uh, to the glass display of pinned bugs on the wall. It's 
pretty impressive. Nice bugs. This is nice a... art. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the thing you probably should not say to a developer or programmer. Like nice bugs. <laughs> Hey Ninja, I, I pinned, played your ghost but, game. Nice bugs. Uh, <laughs> I pinned them all myself. Maybe I could show you how sometime. Maybe I can pin you somewhere. Oh. I'm... Ooh, ooh my. I'm concerned <laughs> I would stick the pin through... Uh, uh, right, th <laughs> right through my finger. Not what I was going for, but okay. Ah, the pin is gambit. <laughs> Okay, the thing is, with, especially with him, because he is role-playing his fantasy so serious all the time. Does he actually have this... Is this actually humor when he is like, ooh, Pinner's Gambit? Or, it's or, hard to tell. Yes, I know. With him, it's really hard. You don't know if it is humor or if it all is part of his character. It, is that a thing? No, no, okay, he has humor. No, it's humor. <laughs> okay. I would say he loves books, so picking up a book is a good sign of, oh, I am interested <laughs> in, a, in what library. you are interested in. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, hearts, good, good. I'm still not convinced that we actually can do wrong, but hearts, hearts is good. Well, okay, do you want to use this guy as an experiment then, to see if we can do wrong? Yeah. Alrighty. Well, you know, Ian, in the Victorian era, there was some con controversy surrounding reading. Many people thought there were, there were more tardy novels that the more tardy novels I would think encourage it's Taldry. the Towdry? Yeah, probably. Towdry novels would encourage youths into a life of crime and would cause too much of a distraction from work and school. Here's a fun fact. The entire video game debate we now had actually existed previously with movies, existed previously with comic books, existed yeah. actually for reals in the past about reading and books. The yeah. same hysteria about, oh, the media are d d turning our y youngsters uh, the wrong way. It's real. I just want to point this out. <laughs> So, so basically, um, for all of time, parents have been pawning off their crappy kids on other stuff. Yes. Yeah. It's or, this thing's fault. Or the older people in society who are afraid of anything new. I guess yeah. the parents itself, yeah. uh, themselves are probably Rock not Rock music issue. as well. Oh yeah, music. I forgot music, right. <laughs> music, music also turns the, uh, the children bad. Yes. And Let's now go. it's going to be memes next. Mm. Oh, oh, oh god. I say... Ninja, you predicted the future. Memes yeah. will be the next one. If, on if you post novel. memes, your kids are going to become Nazis. You know, if they look at these. I YouTube mean, Pepe is stuff. already a racist symbol. Remember. Uh huh. Uh, by uh -huh. the media, yeah, not really in real life, but. I know. But yeah, but, but the stupid. out. I I say Ninja is onto something. The next outcry will be that memes are bad for kids. Yep. I, I'm willing. I'm willing to go with this one. Ninja. All right. When yeah. when when. When the day comes that there is a media outcry about how memes are destroying our use, I will, uh, yeah, the next drink or the next big drink will be on me. Not just one drink, but yes, a big one. Yes, okay, I, I will find, next time I, like, I'm browsing Funny Junk and I see a headline that sounds similar to what we've described, yes, I'm sending it to, to you to immediately. Absolutely fair, absolutely fair. And then we get, <laughs> we get hammered on destroying the use with memes the next time we meet in yes. real life. And you are allowed to, so either in three years in... Uh, uh, America, or you need to come America. over. America, of course, I'd love to. Okie dokie. I pull out a book at random and examine the worn cover. Opening it, I turn to a random page and read aloud. Oh god. What? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm. Naruto struggled against I'm the late. same. I'm, no. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my god. No. <laughs> the, game, game. the game did no. it again. The, day, the game did it again. <laughs> No, no, this I'm, is too specific. This I'm is too specific. Down. I'm gone. I'm done. This, no, can't, I don't be, this can't happen. I, I, I don't want to play I this game so, anymore. I need an adult. I, I, I don't oh, want to play this game anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Ninja, I'm scared. Ninja, you have to read it. You have no, to read it's it. No, it's actually, it's actually me. It's actually me. I, yes, I need you, to read it. <laughs> Oh, okay, well, Ninja. I have to read it. Oh my yeah. god. I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> this is so Ninja. creepy. I got chills. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are losing Ninja. We are losing Ninja. <laughs> How is this possible? Oh, god. How? <laughs> 
Okay. I'm convinced Ninja. the game has some sort of camera microphone system in there. Or and it is changing the story I as mean, it hears a we, song. We, we are literally streaming this. And I play this game on a browser like uh, Steam. So, yes. This is a legit conspiracy theory that could be real, that there is a programmer watching our stream live and going ahead in chapters and changing stuff to mess with us. I, I swear to oh God, this is so God. weird. This is too weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I guess somebody needs to make a weirding out moments compilation of this Let's Play. Yeah, <laughs> holy I'll crap. edit it, fuck it, I got nothing better to do. Oh, oh my God. But yeah, Ninja, Ninja. ninja. <laughs> Close okay, your so ears. Okay, so our minds have, are done being yes. blown for this okay. second. Okay, the thing. Close your ears, Ninja. While okay, I read it I, out... I'm taking you, my headphones off. You have to use a sexy voice. You type, can, type, type in the sky. No, 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 you see when the, the bubble, the, when the okay, speech yeah, bubble sure. changes. Okay. <clears throat> Naruto struggled against the chains that Sak uh, Sasuke had bound him with. Shirtless and out of breath, he looked up at Sasuke. Sasuke smirked, unbuttoning his ninja pen. Why, why, they, why do they need to be ninja pants? They could just be pants, you know? <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. I just wanted to say you can perfectly channel Damien at this point, I believe. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm smiling so hard right now, my cheeks hurt. I'm crying on the inside. I hate Naruto so much. Why oh does this game? Why? This game knows us. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> um, Damien snaps the book shut and puts it back onto the shelf. That's... A rare book from my private collection. This is where me and uh, Damien do not relate. I would have right, thrown so that book out the let, window. Let's look out the window, see if it does anything. But the problem is we are not... I, I, I bet we will not get a positive feedback, but will we get the negative feedback? And will let's we see. Will, are we awesome. willing to sacrifice our S rank for it? I think so. All right, you know, this is up to you on this one. Unless we, okay, okay, let's let's... Hang on, I want to discuss team I, team for a second. Yes, yes, okay. Realizing. We can all agree that Hugo is a pretty bad dad. Oh, I see where you're going and I'm with you. Yeah, so why don't we try and our best to do Damien properly and next we'll try and do Hugo and use him as our experimentation. Yes, and we do with this date as bad as we possible to see if it is possible to screw up a date. Yes, okay. No, so, it, okay. It, it is definitely possible. I have seen it that it's possible to screw up dates. Then again, on second thought... Do you should... like Damien enough no, to... No, 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 no. Should we really screw up the date with the teacher of our daughter who uh, might but, have a well, bad... She got into, she's already got into the college. Yeah, but we discussed earlier, Amanda and me, that we really need a scholarship. And he is one of the teachers probably in charge of it. Are you willing to use Hugo just? You know to what? We can categorize. we can screw up the we can screw up the date with Christian Dad. Oh, that's a good that's, oh, another yeah, that's good a good idea. Uh, okay, nobody cares about our direct neighbor. Do Please, we? will you join me for tea? I follow Damien to the sitting room where finger food has already been set out upon a beautiful ti uh, tired silver tray. I take a seat on one of the high-backed uh, chairs oh. as Damien pours and serves me some tea. Oh? Oh, um, no. Keyframe made a good point in the chat, and I don't oh. know if you want semi-spoilers or not. Uh, use Robert as an experiment, Dad. That's good. Well, here's the thing. I, I, I When watching Toon Critic's thing, because you and him made the same choice, you both banged Robert on the first night. After that, no matter what Toon Critic did on Robert's date, he couldn't, you know, dadify him. Yeah, Aww. yeah, that's true. So I think if you, you bang you... Robert on the first day, you've it, already it fails lost you. your yeah. chances. So you've already failed Robert. So why don't we just use him as the experimentation? That's a good idea. But, but then again, if we already have failed him, do we oh, get, yeah, do we get actually, authentic yeah, you're feedback? Right. You're right, you, you're still right. get the, you still get the two dates, but I, like, I don't mm. think it changes well, I remember the... the I don't know. Let's just, we're not. We're probably not going to we'll go with out. Christian yeah, Dad anyway. Yeah, we're not going to go with Christian Dad. So we'll use him. Uh, Christian enough. Dad, at Dad. So I follow them into the blah, 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 tray stack, high back chairs, poor C. Okay, go. <clears throat> I can't believe we are having a high tea. I never thought I'd get to do this. I'd never get out today to do this. Damien smiles to himself. What? 
How delightful. It's a common misconception that high tea refers to the wealth or class of the people enjoying it, when in fact the high refers to both af- both the later time of the day that the working class had to enjoy tea and the height of the tables of which they were served. Oh. <coughs> the weird thing is I was literally thinking, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this game is channeling me again. My dear friend, we're currently enjoying afternoon tea. So it's not high tea. That's informative. Damien takes a seat next to I me. Like, I like afternoon tea. We have those in Britain quite a lot. You drink tea at every di- t- time of day, so... <laughs> well, no, af- okay, here's a very another common misconception. <laughs> tea, afternoon tea and tea time, do not refer to times where we're drinking tea. They are just times where we eat and drink anything. Oh, okay. It does not have to be tea. Fair enough. I do not drink tea. <laughs> Damien takes and a click. seat next to me and serves me a tiny sandwich. <clears throat> Your home is really impressive. Uh, are there a lot of gods in Maple Bay? I, I think like that might cape. be. Okay, mm. the second one is not the good answer. Yeah. Th- this, this... I think I think complimenting his home would probably be the best bet. I don't think he would. I don't think he likes being called a goth. No, no, no. God, God, no. He he will. No. He, yeah, he, he, he would will. hate it. Yeah, this is a bad answer for sure. But the mm-hmm. home or the cape? I mean, he's, cool. he, we, yeah, I mean, he uh, depicted interest in fashion as well as architecture. Yeah, but, but remember, um, he was, when, at the barbecue, he was really into talking about his new home decorations. Yeah, and, we, we and, can and do that afterwards. And, and he gave us a long tour through the house and everything. Yeah, I guess his home is really his uh, beauty, his his love child, his oh. pride. Yes, his pride. Oh, his uh, pride. We we have word from the Kefram that the third what? one is actually the bad choice. The third, oh. talking about his cape. Huh. I guess it's not a cape or something. It's like a cowl. Yeah. He gets upset. Oh, you know and what? It's probably going to be called a cowl. Yeah, and he will, yes. and, and he will be... Cape a... sounds like a superhero. He doesn't like it. So I guess negative, uh, yeah. neutral, Neutral, positive. probably. Okay, yeah. let's go for, for, for... Let's see okay. if we get the eggplants. Let's see if he sweats as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, course. he does sweat. We got eggplants. Oh. S rank, here we come! It seems... Oh yeah, the key makes sense. Uh, when we first met Damien, he was like, Oh, I don't like this cape, it's Edwardian and not, um, you know, this, Ooh. when we first met him. We, we, so we, played, the, we played this like weeks ago. I, I have yeah. I have a Remember. memory of a walnut. So, it, was, yeah. it was pre-BrodyCon. Yeah. yeah. It seems like you've really put a lot of work... It seems like you've really put a lot of work into this place. Oh. Thank you. No one's ever complimented my home before. Hell, <laughs> I can barely get matching salt and pepper shakers in my plate, and look at what you've done! I'm kind of jealous. That's very generous of you to say. What got you so interested in goth stuff? Ah, oh, now he's going for goth you after all. You had to ruin it. Oh, maybe he'll roll with it, who knows. Well, when oh. I was a young boy, my father... Oh, look, he doesn't mind the term. Uh, it's actually the neutral one, who would have guessed? So that was the neutral one, yeah. yeah. Did he take you into the city? Oh, sorry, that's your line, my bad. Did bad, he bad, bad, bad. take you into the city? Oh. Sorry. Sorry? <laughs> Didn't you guys see um, uh, a marching band? Did you guys see a marching band? I'm afraid I don't understand. Me neither. He will pull out some really, really dorky <laughs> reference, won't he? Think so. You're serious? <coughs> but of course. But it's, <coughs> you know, the song. Amanda made me listen to it. Okay, it's a song <laughs> reference. Seriously? I'd love to see a marching band. I like this guy, it's a cinnamon roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's Gothfin. <laughs> Nevertheless, I have always had a love for art, history, and sorry, I have to blow my nose again. Ugh. Ugh, this is horrible. I'm so sorry. Well, Ugh. sounding this kind of nosy and uptight actually works for the character. I, so. I suppose so. It's okay, snot daddy. Nevertheless, I've always had a love for art, history, and fashion. What started off as a small hobby, collecting taxidermid taxidermid animals grew into sort of an obsession. It's a privilege to be able to appreciate the lives and culture of those who came before us, I think. 
He checked his privilege. <laughs> Why not go <laughs> all the way? I like not dying when what? <laughs> is it is there text missing? <laughs> uh, uh, I hate this game. Oh my god! Okay, now I get it. I hate this game. <laughs> This is stupid. I, I don't know what to say at this point. <laughs> I love this so much. Ninja, it's your line. <laughs> I not I like not dying when I catch a cold. <laughs> he takes a sip of tea, you yeah. fuck, I hate you. <laughs> it's, it, it's official, the game knows. I can acknowledge that there were many very terrible things about the Victorian era, and I try to live a life that strictly aligns with those ideals that would at the and I try to live a life that strictly aligns those ideals those ideals would be admittedly horrid. By the way, you just got schooled out on how to pro pronounce taxidermy uh, by keeping Taxi taxidermy. Yeah, if I was reading it funny. I don't know. It's not a word I come across often. But I think it takes a critical mind to truly appreciate something to the fullest, to be a cognizant, cognizant, to be cognizant of its flaws and love it all the same. Oh God, he's an analyst. This truly is me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were Craig. He's everyone. He's all the daddies. Yeah, he That's is all. He daddies. is all the dads. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, uh, tell me, Ian, do you have any hobbies? Oh man, I do, but I don't know if I care about anything the way you care about you this stuff. <laughs> well, I'd love to hear about all your interests. Hearing someone talk about the things they're passionate about is intriguing and, quite honestly, rather attractive. Ooh. Wow. Really? Now I have to do passionate me? Please, do tell me about your hobbies. Oh god, now it's a choice thing, isn't it? Quick, oh. sound sophisticated. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes, this is you. Okay. Uh, I like watching soap opera videos on the internet. Love me. So making videos. Some word jumbles. I learned how to juggle ones. You okay. Like uh, word jumbles, right? I like learned. Word... I, I literally learned how to juggle ones. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, but, I know okay. that your dad actually does like doing word jumbles. Yes. Yes. So if you want to, okay, if you want to be, uh, this is the choice between honest, where you'd pick the juggle answer, and then being good with dad, you know, hot yeah. with Damien, who knows? Uh, yeah, but that's the thing. What is the answer for Damien? Okay, who what, knows? Uh, watching weird make... videos is not his. Then again, watching soap oh, no, no, no. videos. That's the thing. I don't. We, we shouldn't be answering for Damien. We should be answering for your character because that's who he's interested in. He wants to hear what you're passionate about as a dad. So I think mm -hmm. the, uh, the second. Is the best. Yeah, because this is actually. I mean, he wanted us to talk about something we are uh, passionate about. Like, but it's literally yeah. like I like, I learned once, and love. So let's go with j word jumbles. Yay! Yes. Yeah. Oh, he likes. Ah, we are so good at this. We play the game. The um, Witten word fascinates me. We spend so much time using words, you know, and huh, I think people would appreciate them more if they had the unjumble them. It's poetic, really. Oh, so you're a writer. <laughs> oh, no. in a sense. We finish our tea <laughs> and finger, finger sandwiches. Oh. Come, I have one more thing to show you. It's in my pants. It is my pants. Whoa! Oh, this, is, oh. this is lovely. So much color. Oh. What the hell? It's... Damien I guess takes... he likes garden. Yeah. Damien takes me around the back of his house oh. where a variety what? of flowers... Hmm? What if you looked out the window it's... and spoiled this, yeah. and like you got mad because you already seen it? It was like a surprise. Hmm. Flowers, cool. flowers, a beautiful landscape. Or it's the front window and I just look out on the road or something. Yeah. Yeah. I still say we did the right thing by not yeah. going with this. Good call, play it. We got it. Uh, landscape rose. A small stone path weaves through it, uh, and butterflies flight. Uh, butterflies flit lazily through the air. My garden. It's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Victorians took flowers and floral arrangements very seriously. 
You see, it was considered uncouth to discuss personal and romantic relationships in public, so lovers and friends alike would always use bouquets to send secret messages to each other. Each flower and plant is symbolic of different feelings. Oh my, he, he is like putting on the implication strong. Even more interesting is that one flower could mean different things depending on the other plants it was paired with. One had to be extremely careful, as even the style of which the ribbon was tied around the bouquet affected the message. And how could you decode this? Were the entire books on decoding bouquets going around? Well, I mean, if you look at a rose, you know that a rose symbolizes love, right? Yeah, then again, depending on the color. Yeah, I guess. Something like that. A black well, maybe rose back then, a lot of those meanings were, like, a little bit more well-known. Yeah, they were a bit Probably. more literal, and, you know. Damien leans down and plucks one bright orange flower of a vein. Lilium bulbiferium, the orange. What do you think this one means? Uh, quick, to <laughs> <go> to <laughs> Google! <laughs> Vow art is the title. <laughs> oh, my, my loins are blazed, so the heart has a title. Okay, which one do you think orange means? Oh, dear. Three cheers for three revenge. The orange lily. I I, I guess a second. (laughs) It's the only answer that is not like... Orange... Vow art of the so like best friends. Yeah, I go with that. Uh, Because the third one is just a joke, probably the neutral answer. The first one is a very, very unsubtle one. Yeah, I, I would go with the second. Let's go with option two. Yes. Yes! Yay! Ethric, here we come. We got the eggplants again. And he's speechless, so we probably even oh. nailed it. The orange lily is actually... <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, okay. Fail. Orange lily is actually a symbol of pure hatred. Well... Does that mean you hate us? <laughs> And that's precisely why floral arrangement is so challenging. But look at his smile. He is like, Aww. I guess he just thought we were adorable in our ignorance. Probably. So all that we interpreted such a lovely uh, message out of it. What's your favorite? Oh no! This this game we have is to asking... choose again. Oh god! Oh, oh um... god! Suckle sunflowers. Okay, sunflowers is probably too mundane and bright for him. What are those? I don't even know. Um, honeysuckles are nice. Honeysuckles are nice and sweet. Snapdragons just sound cool. Let's go with honeysuckles. Option two has been good to us. Yeah, I have the feeling that maybe if snack, snapdragons actually have some kind of Victorian background, they might bring us to the goal. He... Uh, I'm leaning more towards snapdragons, I'm not going to lie. Okay, snapdragons, go Chet, for it. Chet, what do you say? Snapdragons Keyframe. or honeysuckles? Which one do we use? Keyframe, which one's the correct answer? Okay, we got one so snapdragon. Oh, okay, yeah. we already... You know what, fuck it, let me Google it. Let's see what a snapdragon is. Honeysuckles okay. are the yellow flowers to actually drink nectar from. Let me Google what a snapdragon is. No, not Snapchat. No, not so bad dragon. Snapdragon. Keyframe says yellow is friendship, red is passion, pink is love. Honeysuckles are yellow flowers that you can actually drink nectar from, so... Oh, it's... so that's a snapdragon. Cool. Okay, they're so... Both, okay, De- Denim Nimdor yeah. says they're both good. Yeah. I am not backseat gaming! <laughs> then let's go with Snapdragon, since they're saying Snapdragon is okay. Okay. Because they're cute, and you can do this uh, that thing where you squeeze them, and uh, uh, so it looks like they are talking. Billy? Oh god, this is what he's going for. Oh, we didn't have we didn't get hearts, so I guess that was the neutral answer. <sighs> we probably should have picked hearts. Oh, 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 we got oh, hearts! Oh, oh, yay! We got the hearts. Um, yay, okay. I'll have to remember that when I put it together a bouquet for you. Oh my. He <laughs> he would oh. put a bu- uh, put together a bouquet for me. Nobody's ever given me a bouquet before. Aww. I follow Damien down the uh, footpath and admire more of his beautiful flowers. I'm liking Damien more and more. <laughs> Suddenly, Craig's a, phone, crying. a phone rings. And there is even a phone ring in the game. Or is actually one of your guys' phone ringing? No, no, it's, it's not yours. Okay. It's the game. Thank goodness. Thank that goodness. would be weird. <laughs> that would be crazy. Oh, Ayan, would you excuse me? I must take this. 
Listen here, you little shit. <laughs> he puts a <laughs> cell phone out of his pocket. Oh, immersion That's broken. A cell phone. Yeah, immersion broken. Uh, failed, failed. I'm a little surprised he's not a rota it's not a rotate rotary phone. Go for it. Go for it. Damien smites and walks back to the house. I take deep breaths and enjoy the heavily perfumed hair. What a lovely yard. This makes me wish I had uh, put a little more effort into that garden Amanda and I tried to start one time. Our watermelons grew out, uh, grew to the size of cherries, uh, cherry tomatoes, and then uh, immediately died. Oh hey, a gargoyle! Oh no, I knocked over a gargoyle! Oh god, no! Oh come on! Oh my god! For crying out loud! Who, Fuck. who am I, Keyframe? Oh my gosh! Oh, oh my god, god. Yes, a mini game. game! Oh god, uh, oh, god. oh god, is a time limit. Oh what? No! Oh god. Oh, oh. Good luck. Okay, the head is on top, surely. Okay, so let's find the body. Why? Why not? That, uh, Did, oh, can we save somewhere? Yeah, that I think looks that, like the body. Try, try, Wait. Uh, what? Why? I, I, how do I rotate it upside down? Okay, now. Now. Try that. No, uh, no, no, there it was. There it was. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yes, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Middle piece next, sure. Yes, uh, no, no, yeah. no, flip it, flip it, oh, flip it, there, there, go, yeah. go, yeah. go, put it down, okay. Okay, we got this, we got this. No, flip go it ahead. around, it and... Yeah. Oh! Yay! Oh, I, I knocked my head yeah. I didn't Sorry. know there were mini games in this. Oh, I knew oh. there were mini games, but I, I didn't expect that one. Oh, me neither, me neither. It, it wouldn't actually been too hard if the controls weren't so clunky. Yeah, Damien looks uh, upset, oh dear. Uh, woo, oh. that was a Did close see us? Uh, uh oh oh. Here comes Damien. He looks no. He's upset because of the phone call. He never figured the gargoyle. Ah. <sighs> Ian, my my sincerest apologies to have kept you waiting. There is an urgent matter that I must attend to, so I'm afraid I must take my leave. Uh, I guess it's a thing of the first dates in general that the uh, uh, that it's an exterior uh, issue where the date has to be cut off, like sleeping baby, <laughs> urgent phone call. No, no problem, problem, dude. Everything's all right. everything's all right. Damien worries uh, the hem of his coat with uh, his uh, fingers and looks uh, with fingers and looks away. Everything is perfectly fine, but uh, it's Lucian. Yeah, the kid. God damn it! The little shit. What's wrong? What's wrong? He appears to have. Well, his teacher needs me to come to school post haste. Oh my! Oh god! Not again! Do, do you need help? Sorry, I need to spread my nose for a minute. Hmm. He needs to sneeze, that's what he needs to do. Oh god, now that I know I need to sneeze, I'm not going to sneeze. Oh no, <laughs> you don't have to. It's that horrible feeling where you have the tissue right next to your nose and you're ready for it, it just doesn't happen. Mm. Don't worry, it'll catch up with me in a minute. Let me come with you, us dads gotta stick together. You're... right. This one's more... Uh, this is one of Lucian's more elaborate stunts. I would greatly treasure having another parent by my side. Oh, the date is not over yet, apparently. Huh. Let's go! Oh. Let's go! One, two, let's Oh, go. you got two to do with. Oh, my goodness. Uh, oh, and I, I had to be... I, I'm Lucian, right? I think you're the kid, yeah. I'm All doing... Right, I'm... I, I remember I did, like, Doomfist voice. I'm gonna make go. him sound like Salad Fingers. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Damien and I walk into the school, and I'm immediately greeted by an anxious-looking Hugo. Uh... Hey! Damien, you're here in record time. I wouldn't miss it for the world, dear friend. Wow, whatever it is, it doesn't seem like uh, this is Hugo and Damien's first time to do the My, kid are, uh, my Kids uh, Are in Trouble Roar Dio. What is it this time? Oh. This Damien, this Damien, you have to see to believe. Ooh, I want to see it, what is it? Damien and I fall into a step behind Hugo, who leads us through the busy corridors of the school. We pass by several classes in session, and I vaguely wonder if Amanda's around. Hugo eventually ushers us into a small boiler room with a flight of rickety stairs leading down into the darkness. Oh god, we're gonna see dead bodies. Watch your step. I can hear faint voices drifting out from the basement, and they don't sound happy. As I'm led uh, to the depths of the school, I recall the, the antics I got into as, as an angsty middle schooler. At least I had enough sense to stay out of creepy basements. Uh, what, what is it? Oh, God, it's both of them. 
Oh god. Oh, look at these little shits. So it's Riley and Salad Fingers, yeah, okay. Shit fig, uh, shit, shit kit gang, whatever. Shit, shit kit mm -hmm. gang. All right. We find another teacher in a boiler room tucked away in the back of a basement. Uh, with him are Lucian and Ernest, Hugo's son. Uh, Lucian has a bloody nose. Oh, they got into a fight. Mm. Uh, who is teacher? Uh, thanks for coming. Haha. -ha. I, uh, I can't make heads or tails of this. Is it Skinner? Is it Flanders? <laughs> it's probably Flanders. Some kind of rarity or that. <laughs> I look around the scene of the crime to see a bunch of bricks and some me uh, oh machinery to us, tools scattered around. They tried to dig a, a, a tunnel somewhere? Oh, oh my. Uh, <laughs> what happened here? Ernest punched me. Lucian tried to kill me! <sighs> the room falls silent. I was not trying to kill you, dumbass. I was just trying to build a brick wall around you and see what would happen. Oh, somebody likes to play The Sims, I see. You promised me there was wine down here. You tricked me! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. Lucian, did you try and cast... What? Cast of Armonitaldio? No. Armotil Armotilido, Ernest. Cast off Armotilido, Ernest. I'm neither confirming nor denying that. I think as I mean to like bury him alive. Yeah. I turn to Damien and whisper to him. What's uh, what's cask of Armonitaldio? It's a classic Edgar Allan Poe story where a man gets his dark enemy drunk, lures him down to his cellar with the promise of wine and flat vintage, and f of a fine vintage, then buries him alive inside a brick wall. Hmm. Amontillado. <laughs> it's a lovely story. <laughs> so, wait, Lucian, you tried to do that to him? I was curious to see how it would turn out. I wasn't actually going to leave him there. Oh, he, he kind of is daddy's son, isn't he? <laughs> what was the thought process here? That Ernest was just going to sit still while you slowly build a tomb around him? Well, it worked for like 20 minutes because he's an idiot. <laughs> but then he realized that I had lied about the wine. And you are cackling, and you are cackling maniacally. That sort of tipped me off. Ernest, twenty minutes. <laughs> Hugo is giving his son shit for, for nearly getting twenty minutes. You didn't figure this shit out, you fucking idiot! <laughs> you Holy fuck! You stupid little, you stupid little kid. Do, I, what did I tell you about doing too much drugs? <laughs> Dad. Sweet Manchego. It took you 20 minutes, son. So, we just did an entire two weeks unit on the cast of Amontillado. And it took you 20 fucking minutes to realize Lucian was leading you into an elaborate ruse. Did he we even read the story? You. He ruined of course he you. Did. Really, did really, you even read the story? Really? He is not arguing with his son about being an idiot, but about not doing his homework. God, he's yep. such a teacher! I read, a, I read uh, the first five pages, <laughs> then read a review of the movie. Ah, uh, just like Amanda. <laughs> it's only five... <laughs> it is only five pages long, and there is no movie. How... how... how did... <laughs> yeah, you're right. I paid Lucian to read it for me. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with us two? Uh... Actually, he didn't even pay me. So when you think about it, this was me teaching him a lesson. <laughs> In some sick I, way, he has a point. I start to like Lucian. What is happening? <laughs> Damien and Hugo both have their heads in their hands. It's because he's a... Uh you guys are always telling me to engage in literature. And I did. I don't see the problem here. Thank God it wasn't the telltale heart. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. 
uh, All teacher. right, uh, I'm uh, feeling this under uh, what the hell, don't do, whatever that was. Again, you two are both suspended for a week. Unsolution <laughs> high five. What? Hey. What? <laughs> oh, this was a plan to get them suspended. <laughs> the, te the teachers start to storm up the stairs. Uh, Hugo, uh, I'll cover your class. Uh, take your son home. Uh, Mr. Bloodmarch, you too. Thank you for your mediation. <laughs> we all head up the stairs out of school in tense silence. <laughs> God. Uh, Lucian, Damon, and I all pile into my car and begin to drive home. Lucian immediately puts his hood up and uh, stares out the w window angrily. How did we get this family in this car? With Maybe it's the, a minivan. I don't the, know. No, but I mean with the colorful flowers have... and stuff. Yeah, who and knows? Then again, he likes colorful flowers, as we found out to our, yeah. all our surprise. I'm not going to therapy again. I know, son. It's entirely up to you whether you want to, uh, whether or not you want to go. But I care about you, and I can see that you're struggling. So if you decide to... So if you do decide that you would like to speak to a professional about your feelings, we can do that too. Maybe you can spend this week looking for your summer looking for a summer job, hmm? I know how much you want to own your own car. I can't believe Damien's keeping his cool. I'm impressed. Yeah. Fine. Thanks for not freaking out too hard. I love you, son. Ah. Lucian continues staring out the window. I love <laughs> you too. <laughs> we spend the rest of the drive in relative silence. The moment we pull into the driveway, Lucian hops out of the car, slams the door and runs inside. I didn't expect to have that conversation in front of you. He and I have a lot of lot we need to work out. It's all right. Uh, all and all things considered, Lucius' uh, brick lay brick laying was pretty good. So there's your silver lining. There is there is that. Yes. Okay. Okay. There's probably final just choice. Going. Um. I'd say the <laughs> second option is probably the best. Probably. one. Probably. Does this kind of thing happen a lot? Yeah. This, this one is critical. The face thing and stuff like uh, dismissive. Yeah, I, yeah. I'd say the. It, he mm -hmm. actually did. I honestly yeah. can say he handled this well. I mean, if my kid was a little psychopath, uh, yeah, I probably would have reacted stronger. You beat the fuck out of him. Oh, yeah. Nah, no, no, <laughs> not even in yeah, Germany. His... Beating up your children is still okay. Yeah, gotcha, then, I gotcha. Yeah, his reaction was good. Then again, I still promote a little bit of a uh, how do you call it? A, a slap on the discipline. Yeah, a slap on the bottom. I mean, I would not uh, get out the ruler, but. It worked on me. My my dad gave me once yes. or twice. Well, uh, the, uh, the yeah. one I'm, I'm the same. My parents uh, got me to lick soap and, you know, try, you know, lick soap. Whenever I swore, he had to wash your mouth out with soap. Like, literally, <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Yeah, you, no, you had to, yeah, you had to lick, sm sm oh, the, the, lick soap and then sort of wash the taste out with water, huh. you know, wash your mouth. Yeah, but that's the thing that literally, that... You're dirt. You're saying dirty mouth, so you need to eat soap. I, yeah, you need to clean your mouth. Yeah, this is a thing that was never seen in my family. So, okay, yeah. moving on. You were a lot more diplomatic with him uh, than I would have been. I just want what's best for him, and I don't think yelling at him would do us even any favors. Come on, give me hearts. Give me hearts. Give me hearts. I re it really does. You're a good dad. Come on, come on, come on, give me hearts! Hearts, hearts, hearts. Yes! 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 We got eggplants. We got like three eggplants this day. Yeah, yeah. We, we, yeah, we, we, are, we have we are an ass doing ring. fantastic with da and, Damien. And, and now we really realize that uh, because we did so well, we get an S plus, and then we will forever be bothered what we did wrong with Craig. I don't know if there's any S plus. We will see I'm in a bit, I say. See I'm around. pretty sure it's more like we didn't really do anything bad with Craig. We just didn't. We had more neutral answers than eggplant answers. Maybe, maybe. I believe also, I, I, at least in retrospect, I have the feeling that Damien's date was longer. 
with yeah. then again it could just be with the detour to the school that it felt longer anyways Maybe. i mean heck we even passed the uh the gargoyle mini game that's true that's true. true see you around soon it would be my honor and my pleasure damien bows with a flourish classy ah. and i come home to find amanda curled up on the couch with a blanket watching tv i plop down next to her Yo. Okay. Yo. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Her voice got really little, 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 little crisis over here. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Uh, what was it? Uh, professor Girlfriend? <laughs> uh, anyways. What? Whatcha watching? Uh, Tiny House Hunting Brothers Extreme Edition. Uh, I hate this show. A couple of uh, on-screen bickers. Uh, a couple of uh, a couple on-screen bickers and ba bickers back and forth while standing in an extremely small house made out of uh, recycled bottles. The tiny house hunting brothers watch them with uh, bemused expressions, both of their hands touching the low ceiling. Yeah, this sounds really weird. I probably wouldn't watch it either. Oh God! Here you go. Oh, um. You are a TV I told wife. you I wanted a two-bed, two-bath, shabby chic cottage. This house doesn't even have a bathroom. Uh, but honey, the outhouse is only 12 yards away. It's not that bad. I am not pooping outside, Greg. Why don't you just get a regular sized house? Huh? Why don't you just get a regular sized house? Hmm. I... I don't know. Hmm. How'd afternoon tea go? Oh, it got strange. We had to go to school to pick up Lucian uh, since he tried to... He lured Ernest down to the cellar with the promise of fine vintage wine and then tried to break him into the wall, didn't he? How did you know that? Has everybody... Have everybody read this uh, story except for me? Lucian and I stream the entire thing. <laughs> the game even knows we're live streaming. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, oh yeah, that's pretty funny though. <laughs> this entire day is beyond me. But otherwise, it was a fun day. That Damien guy is a, char uh, guy is a character, but he's really good company. He And a surprisingly diplomatic dad. Ah. <laughs> right. I dig his style. You know what? Me too. And give us a score. Give me that S date completed. Date complete. And Ooh, oh, this is more points. This is more points than last time. Oh wow! Look at all this. Boom. Oh. S. So S is the highest rank. Yeah. Our Poe is pretty good. Our Darkness Fang and Energy Saving is also pretty good. Our Afternoon Tea is good, just as good as our Poe. I think these are just like random things. Oh, I know it is, but it's funny. <laughs> Did anyone notice that his eyes are glowing? A little bit, yeah. But here, you, you see this, those numbers? Those are mm -hmm. identical. I guess those are the maximum numbers. And I recall that one of our uh, points last time was only in the uh, with a three digit and a nine. So hmm. we did better this time. Yes, we did do we better. I know better. we got more eggplants, so I, I know we yeah, did better. Yeah. However, what is the difference between the dead and the daddy points? I have no idea. Maybe it's stuff you do with Amanda? Yeah, no, or, yeah, I assume that one that, is, that makes sense. Yeah. One is about daddying and one is about dating dads. So one yeah. is one is for romance, one is for being a good father, but I'm not sure. Well, we tried to pull the stunt with Amanda in our last date, so with a distraction. So maybe that yeah. is why the daddy points were lower. I don't know. Maybe. I don't but, know. But yeah, uh, I guess it's where two successful S ranks dates for one session uh okie dokie sounds like sounds like two dates per stream is or reasonable. roughly two is yeah reasonable. or or two hours whichever comes yeah. first if, if if you're too critic he's probably going to complete the whole game next stream because he speed mm. runs for a ton of crap what? <laughs> yeah this was fun this was, I, I, I am looking forward to doing more of Damien. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> the, the moment Naruto came upon screen, I wanted How to I die. I, was, I, I didn't have a reaction to it because I was speechless. <laughs> I just... 
I, I looked at the screen with my mouth hanging open, thinking of something witty to say, and nothing came to me. I was like, was, holy that was so, shit. That was so beautiful. <laughs> How uh, the fuck does this game know us all too well? That, that, that was just beautiful right there. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. But yeah, guys, but, thank you once again for sacrificing your Saturday evening, or at least late afternoon in your case. Kitchy, uh, yeah. for ha hanging out with a weird German and playing gay, dead dating sims. Yes. And everybody, see you around yeah. next time. And remember, kids, it's okay if you're black. <laughs>